But it was dangerous, so I hid it from the world. My assistant, Darren Cross, they became obsessed with recreating my formula. If this technology gets out, it's going to be chaos. Scott, this is your chance to become the hero. I need you to be the Ant Man. I think our first move should be calling the Avengers. The suit has power. This is not some cute technology like the Iron Man suit. We do. When you're small, you have superhuman strength. You like a bullet. So you need to know how to punch. You want to show me how to punch? Show me how to punch. Ah, that's how you punch. Yeah, I got this. Did you think you could stop the future? You're just a beast. No. I'm Ant Man. I know. Wasn't my idea. There's no reason to be scared. Oh no no, Daddy don't get scared. Good. How'd you do that, bro? Don't freak out. Look at your shoulder. Ah! Welcome to the Not Watching Podcast. My name's Rob Howard, and this week I'm joined by... Ian Bruce, John Marson, and Marcus Hurley. You can contact us on email at notwatchingpodcast at gmail.com, or follow us on Twitter at notwatchingpod. Me and Marcus went to see Ant-Man a couple of weeks back. Uh, latest uh, Marvel movie. Uh, a new instalment uh, in the MCU, and also uh, a, a film that was kind of kind of built from the ashes of of a project that Edgar Wright and um, Joe Cornish were working on for Marvel. Uh, I'd not really, I'm not really that familiar with Ant-Man as a, as a character in the Marvel pantheon, but um, yeah, some ingenious stuff going on here. It's, it's a different kind of movie to most other Marvel movies. It's, it's actually kind of a comedy heist film and uh, it's actually quite funny. And Paul Rudd is, pretty well cast for it i think um i thought michael douglas was very cool they did at the start of the movie there's a they they uh use some kind of crazy de-aging technology to make michael douglas from romance in the stone appear uh, <laughs> which was quite impressive mm. um but yeah it's it's interesting um uh like how successful this film is um considering like uh that it was kind of a bit of a balked project um and um there's there's been some innovations like later on um it the director of the film was Peyton Reed and uh that some of the coolest parts of the film were actually inventions by him uh which I won't <laughs> go into because spoilers etc but yeah Marcus you 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 saw it too what what did you think uh yeah uh, I don't know a whole lot about Ant Man, but there's one or two bits I did kind of go, oh, from researching other bits of Marvel from the whole way that the films have been going. Um, I thought it was genius the way that you see um, they almost kind of make it like Ant Man's a legacy um, without being too spoilerific about it, you know. Um, it kind of fills in some of the gap between Captain America and the present day stuff. Yeah, but it's even got... even that aside, yeah, it's kind of like they needed a new superhero after Cap kind of vanished off the earth, and, and it almost made yeah. you feel like the stories they tell in there are almost like the Marvel comics, which have been going yeah, since like a... the 60s, you know, sort of thing. So It gives it a bit of like Watchmen sort yeah, of... Yeah, um, like this, this has been going, this mantle's stuff. been going for a while, and then now he's yeah. kind of retired, and now all the crazy stuff it's kicking off and it's like a new generation that's taking up and all that sort of yeah, thing without it sounding as crap as I described. <laughs> well, uh, you could argue that Ant-Man is basically the suit and, yeah. you know, Paul Rudd is not the first no. Ant-Man. But the, so. the funny thing was, um, <laughs> this is what I found was completely bonkers, um, Henry Pym, who Michael Douglas plays, is supposed Hank to be... Hank Pym. Hank, yeah, um, I think it's Sorry. short for... I think Hank was short for Henry, isn't it, or something like that. Oh, I, don't I think know. it's an abbreviation, yeah. <laughs> but um, he's supposed to be Ant Man, as in, like in the Avengers, he's Ant Man in the comics. It's it's right. the guy called. So a lot of the fans were a bit pissed at that. However, Hank Pym 
is the guy who's supposed to have created the original Vision android. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, in the yeah. Comics. It's, so it's they like, had to change it around. It, it's a bit. so weird. It's like if you if you're a diehard Marvel nut, I'm not. Thank goodness, your head must be absolutely. You you must be spinning. It's just like I'm just thinking. I'm glad I'm not that level of nerdiness that I'm like bulking going. Yeah. Oh my god, what have they done? <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. We've, we have mentioned on previous episodes how that there are various interpretate or various yeah. like g- generations of all this law, though, isn't it's there? It's mental. So, I mean, stuff gets rewrited, rewritten, redacted, changed, rebooted, even within the comics. And you think how they manage to do what they've done so far of these universes? It's nothing short of amazing, considering it's mm. pretty much a whole spaghetti mess of history and stuff like that. But as a film. Yeah. I would uh, going back to the original point of what we're talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say it kind of felt a bit like Edgar Wright's spirit was in there, with the oddball characters and stuff. Almost like a bit of, you know how um, Scott Pilgrim felt with some of the characters just being a little strange yeah. and a little odd and a little bit. Yeah, really, it like- exists, but you don't question it. You kind of just you go with it because that's the feel of the film, and, and you're kind of like the whole point of a person saying this is because that's what that character does and you're just like, okay, what? And then you look on screen and the guy, the main guy is going, what? (laughs) Because that's exactly what you're supposed to do. (laughs) Yeah, I I think it's like, um, there are some, because it's a heisty kind of film, Mm. there are like moments in the movie where they're doing, you know, and we'll do this and we'll do that and then wait for it to all blow over. You know, it's like straight out of like Shaun of the Dead sort of stuff, Mm. like... There are bits like that, um, but you can definitely see where Marvel have had to like take their giant crowbar to yeah. and make sure that it fits inside <laughs> the Avengers. Yeah. Uh, but I, that, you know. that, but yeah, but you got to say the the way they did it surprised me because I did not expect that at all. Um, um, so without spoiling, because I, I don't know. I mean, you guys haven't seen it. I'm not sure if are you gonna are you intending I, to. I will do eventually. Yeah. Yeah, John, are you gonna give it a go? Yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. Uh, Bex and the kids went to see it today, and they really enjoyed it. Oh. So, but yeah, there's well, there's, there you go, yeah. there's a whole sequence in it that you'll just go, what? Oh, oh wow! And then it doesn't stop. Oh yeah, being wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, d- I didn't want to go there yeah. because that was one of the sort of best bits. Of yeah, the film I'm, I'm, I'm going to they... back out now. Anyway, I'll leave that <laughs> yeah. non-edited. Yeah. You leave that bit that could completely be edited out. Because I've said nothing. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. I'm just saying, like, um, because, like, uh, yeah, all the stuff in the trailer, they go way beyond that um, in some ways. Um, But a lot of the stuff in the trailer is 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 there mm, and mm. uh it's still very funny even and, and it's and and they do mess with size not just uh by making things small um they uh they they do the opposite to quite comedy effect in several cases mm. but i won't explain what it just made me <laughs> chuckle i couldn't stop <laughs> laughing after yeah. that it was really funny um but yeah um it looks like they've set things up for another character to join the mcu um don't want to say who but it's probably fairly obvious um but yeah so that's fun and and yeah paul rudd will be back in uh the next oh civil war i think he's going to be part of that i think so yeah um yeah so he's definitely part of the avengers as it were so yeah that's ant-man uh definitely recommend checking it out if you like things that are fun (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and if we don't watch it we don't like fun is that what you're saying you might be Quite bored possibly. into <laughs> happiness or something you might you might just be a grey old person <laughs> you might just like gritty <laughs> drama like that you know <laughs> where people always die at the beginning middle and yeah. beginning middle of ends yeah. people always die and just or you might be George R. R. Martin you know you don't believe in happiness indeed <laughs> well he probably does <laughs> This has been the Not Watching Podcast in partnership with notlistening.co.uk. You can contact us on email at notwatchingpodcast at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at notwatchingpod. And you can find the show notes for this show at notlistening.co.uk. If you're listening to us on iTunes, then please give us a review. And that's all for now. Bye Thanks bye. for listening. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.